Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to Term 2's work on the crisis of capitalism, the rise and fall of the American economy, the events that led to the Wall Street crash of 1929, and the Great Depression. We end this topic with a discussion of Roosevelt's New Deal and how he helped the American people to recover after the Great Depression. To start with, you will notice that you have in your resource pack as your first activity, the events leading to the Wall Street crash and the Great Depression. So when we discuss this introduction and the first few slides, you will need to relate them to the sources in your activity and to use it to engage with the questions. Let's start by talking about the term capitalism. The term capitalism is associated with money. You will remember we discussed the concept of communism in term one, where the Russian people chose to have a system of government where the wealth is distributed by the government fairly and equitably. This means that you do not get people that are extremely rich or extremely poor within the country. The idea there was that the state would take control of all sources of wealth and distribute that wealth. Hence, there would be no class division, there would be economic equality. Now communism, while introduced in Russia, was heavily criticized in Western nations such as Britain and the United States. America in particular was very concerned about communism because the people of America were strong believers and followers the system of capitalism. So what is capitalism? To start with, let's look at these two pictures here. If you compare these two pictures, it's looking at a city, but it's, it's vastly different in terms of the activities that you see going on. I want you to pause a while, gather your thoughts, and compare these two sources. As you would have noted, there's a marked difference in terms of the busyness of the, each of those areas. One shows a high degree of activity, while the other, there's almost none. Now this will form the first of your, part of the first of your activities before you go on to your resource pack. These three questions must be answered in your books. And when we gather at school, we shall have a discussion of these two sources and how they differ. So why do we need to look at these sources and of what significance are they to this section? These sources are the show us the results of high economic activity in an urban area or low economic activity. Its link with capitalism is that it shows us that when there's a degree of high economic activity, many people are involved and there is tremendous growth. But I will leave you to answer the sources, the questions on the sources, and we will have a discussion when we meet. Let's look more closely at the concept or terminology of capitalism. So what is capitalism? It's an economic system 
based on the private ownership of the means of production. Let's repeat that, an economic system based on the private ownership of the means of production. There is what's called free enterprise, a free market system, and competition in business is encouraged. Just bring it down to a simpler level. If you travel in your local area, you will see many privately owned shops. Your supermarkets, your service stations, your cell phone stores, clothing stores, all of them are privately owned. These are examples of capitalist businesses. Here, the owner is not answerable to the government for anything or accountable to the government for anything except taxes. In large enterprises, government has no right to interfere in capitalist states, except, again, to obtain taxes from 